When I take care of a patient with a diagnosis of myocarditis, I always wonder what the long-term prognosis will be and what clinical factors I might use to predict long-term outcome. Now in Jack, researchers try to help with this problem. Their study evaluated the long-term mortality in patients with viral myocarditis and looked at the prognostic value of various clinical, functional, and cardiovascular magnetic resonance parameters. They studied more than 200 consecutive patients with biopsy-proven viral myocarditis and followed them for almost five years. Their primary endpoints were all-cause mortality and cardiac mortality, and what they found is that patients had a striking mortality, 19% all-cause, 15% cardiac, and 10% sudden cardiac death. The presence of late gadolinium enhancement on cardiac MR resulted in a hazard ratio of 8.4 for all-cause mortality and 12.8 for cardiac mortality, independent of clinical symptoms. Gadolinium enhancement is superior to other parameters like left ventricular ejection fraction, LV and diastolic volume, or New York Heart Association class, which did not help in making a prognosis. One fascinating outcome was that no patient without late gadolinium enhancement had sudden cardiac death even if the LV was enlarged and impaired. So here are their conclusions. Among a population with a wide range of clinical symptoms, biopsy-proving viral myocarditis is associated with a sobering five-year mortality of up to 19%. The presence of late gadolinium enhancement is the best independent predictor of all-cause mortality and of cardiac mortality, and not surprisingly, an initial presentation with heart failure may be a predictor of incomplete long-term recovery. I'm Peter Block, and this is a Cardi Source Heart Minute.